Hi guys, um, uh, it's Michelle Hussain and I am now into my third month of TSW, so approximately like 13 weeks I guess. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick update about how my skin is going. Um, the last time I made a video I was flaring quite badly, I was quite red in the face. Um, right now I don't think I'm flaring, I think it's just, this is how I look when I'm not flaring. Um, I'm still quite, you can still see that there's a bit of pinkness to my face, like, when I say pink, it's more like a brownie pink rather than just pink. Um, yeah, so you can see like, there's still, it's a, it's a lot lighter, but it's still there. You can see the areas where I've been affected, uh, especially on this side of my face. It's a lot worse. Ah. I feel like Two Face Harvey from Batman. Uh, so yeah, it's it's still um, it's still quite noticeable and still quite. I don't know if I'd call it red. It's more like a browny, purpley red. It's horrible. But uh, yeah, on on a more positive note, uh, I think um, I'm shedding a lot less. Like before, I my skin would be continually falling off my face. I would always have like scales. Right now I'm not as uh, scaly. Um, so uh, before I would have to like exfoliate at least like twice a day. Uh, now it's more like I exfoliate once every two days. Like you know I'll exfoliate one day then I'll leave the next day and then the next day I'll exfoliate again and it'd be better. So I think that that's progress. Also the burny feeling that I had before that has reduced a lot. Maybe it's because I'm not flaring right now. Um, that's probably why. <laughs> but I, I, I don't actually feel any pain from my face. Like, no tingles or anything like that. So that's pretty good. Uh, uh, my skin is still dry. It has like a really shiny appearance. Like, if you look really close up to my skin, I don't think you'll see it right now. <laughs> it's kind of weird doing this. But the skin is still like really like shiny and plasticky and um, that's kind of annoying because it feels like, it doesn't feel like skin but it feels quite soft but it's not really proper skin so uh, I don't know it's got some, well it definitely has a lot more healing to do so. Uh, I've been taking Oh yes, I've been taking supplements, so um, I've been having a lot more probiotics and um, more B vitamins in particular, just because um, I've done a bit of research and apparently B vitamins are really good at helping you to uh, uh, like adjust your nitric oxide levels in your, in your skin and blood vessels. Um, so hopefully, my thinking is if I take B vitamins, it will help my blood vessels to constrict and the redness will just kind of go away but uh, I've been taking them for about three weeks now and I haven't really noticed a noticeable difference but I guess it's good for me anyway so there's no harm in trying it so that's what I'm doing um, probiotics just because of the whole candida uh, argument that people have that oh uh, candida may be the reason for eczema and it could help with clearing out toxins if I go on a diet. I can't diet. I, I tried, but I, it's not working. <laughs> I, I think um, when you're going through TSW, things are stressful enough as it is. Like, if I start having to cut out a lot of sugars and stuff like that, I, I think I'd be really sad. So, yeah. <laughs> Put my Ben and Jerry's tub right next to me. <laughs> um... But yeah, I, I definitely feel like I've made some progress and because sometimes progress is so slow, I may not see it straight away, but I'm definitely a lot better than say the first month where my skin was awful, like I was oozing. Oh, I don't ooze at all now, so that's cool also. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I guess it's just, it's just a matter of time. Um, in terms of the whole uh, 
mental aspect of it. I, I'm trying not to worry about it. There's nothing I can do to make this go any easier, apart from trying to adjust my diet a bit more. <laughs> but um, I think, I think, as long as you accept that this is what's happening to you and that you have to go through this, and it's going to be fine. Um, and just remember why you have decided to take this decision anyway. Uh, for me, steroids, uh, I mean, they were working, but they weren't working well enough. Like, I would, I'd, I'd hate to have that feeling that I had to depend on a cream for myself to look normal. And even when I used steroids, my skin was still a bit red. I'd always have, like, little bits of redness on my cheeks, and it was, it was kind of weird. So, I, 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 I think I'm mentally in a state where I know why I'm doing this so I don't feel so bad looking like this right now. Uh, it helps that I have family around me that you know really look after me and I have friends that come around and um, uh, they they are pretty honest about how I look but they're not mean about it and they and they they understand why I'm doing it and they're even proud of me and I, I, I guess it's something to be proud of. If you're fighting through this you should give yourself a pat on the back because it's not an easy thing to go through and you know it's all gonna work out in the end so just 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 keep that in mind as bad as things get right now there's always things that can go way worse so uh, yeah be positive um, <laughs> I've also been trying to hypnotize myself <laughs> into believing that I will heal faster just because um, I do think TSW is as much as it uh, as much as it is like a physical thing that you're going through it's a lot I think it affects me a lot more mentally in terms of I feel scared to go out I don't want to show my face to people and all that and uh, I think that's it's it's kind of a battle that you have to have with yourself and just kind of learn that your skin that this time where your skin is being bad it's not going to last forever and it will get better for sure for sure all right i'm gonna go now <laughs> take care bye